The Christmas Trap. Have you fallen for it? What do I mean when I say the Christmas trap? Have you noticed the rise in Christians and even non-Christians talking about the supposed pagan roots of Christmas and how we should boycott Christmas? Let me explain to you what's actually going on. Have you ever heard of a book called The Prince? It was written by a man named Machiavelli, Niccolo Machiavelli, and it actually is a how-to book for how to take over other countries, other people groups, other nations, the proper and effective way to do that. This is actually required reading for uh, people in Skull and Bones, uh, any future leaders of our country, and I'm sure other countries too. But this is required reading because it's like their how-to guide. Now, stay with me. What does this have to do with Christmas? Okay. One of the main things that this book talks about is how to take over a people group. And in order to take over a people group, you have to strip them of their culture and of their traditions, okay? Like their past, their history, because these things are beloved to people. And so uh, if you're trying to take them over, they're always going to be clinging to that past, to what their nation is or their people is supposed to be like, or uh, things that made them special and, and gave them that sense of camaraderie. So by stripping them of their traditions and cultures and things like that, okay, by stripping those away, then they will be like lost sheep, so to speak. So you have people devoid of culture and traditions that are therefore willing and much more likely to accept the new culture that you are trying to present to them. What does this have to do with Christmas? This is literally what we see happening. This is the Christmas trap. The people who are promoting this idea of Christmas being pagan, they're not on your side. They're not trying to help you. They're not trying to edify you as Christians. They're actually doing it with much more sinister intentions. What they're trying to do is to get you to reject your own uh, holidays and traditions that are that have been celebrated by the, the Christmas faith for a very long time now. They're trying to get you to reject those things of your own free will which will leave you much more likely to accept the culture that's around you, which in this case is a satanic and a godless culture that they are trying to push, right? This whole trans thing and all the other wicked things that they've got going on right now. They want to strip you of your Christian roots, the Christian traditions that bind us together as Christians so that you'll be more likely to accept these other things. And maybe you think that's ridiculous. Maybe you think, well, that's not going to happen to me. And maybe you're right. But that is the goal behind what's going on. They're tr not trying to help you. They're not trying to um, give you a better Christian experience by rejecting these things that are so-called pagan, even though they're actually not. I mean, just look at the name. It's called Christmas. We're not all out there celebrating Saturnalia together. We're celebrating Christmas together. And everybody knows that Christmas time is when Christians come together, when there's peace and goodwill toward men. People are more generous with their neighbors, right? And we're all, we all just have this um, sense of love where we all just... Um, we just want to be a blessing to each other. We want to gift give to each other. And we're all praising our Lord and focusing on Jesus, who was the best gift of all. That is what's actually happening here. Okay. The Christmas trap. It's a trap. They're trying to trick you into giving up this uh, beautiful celebration. We have this called Christmas and other things too that we have as a Christian people so that They'll strip us and rid the world of Christianity. That is the goal. So have you fallen for the Christmas trap?